Okay, welcome back to the database demo. If you're still watching this, this means you need more help. We're going to do the insert one command here and we're going to replace the uh, comment with the database work. So let's go back to our previous code. Insert something looks like the class that we used before and I've got everything highlighted so let's copy it and I'm going to put it inside here on the database service. So in the insert one we need a beautiful thing object and we'll paste it. Okay so this B object, this beautiful thing has all of the properties in it that we need to be able to create this. So down here in the SQL statement we're inserting a bunch of values. We need to make this into one of those uh, prepared statements again and then we can insert the uh, and the values the other way. So let's go and change a few statements. So instead of statement, this is prepared statement. And uh, by the way, you can use this without uh, prepared statements, but I recommend it. So let's see, we're going to do a dot prepared statement and we need a SQL string. Our string was down here. Let's copy him and put in our quotes. Make sure you get that quote in the right spot. Okay, this guy can go away. We don't need all that string. And now we're going to put in these values. So null can stay where it is, but we're going to put in question marks. All right. So now the statement dot set and we're going to use set string and the parameter index. The first one is going to be our value of the uh, title. So we're given this object here called B, which is a beautiful thing. So B dot, and we're going to get the title, get the thing title, and that'll be our first value. Okay, then the next statement, set string, is also going to be parameter two. And the second thing is the uh, description of whatever we're trying to describe here. So B dot uh, get thing description. Okay, and then we have one more question mark. So we've taken care of one, this is two, and then the third one is the value or the uh, rating, so stmt dot. This one comes as a set integer. We're going to send an integer to the database, and that is parameter three. So the integer is going to be b dot get, looks like rating is the object's value there. Then we execute the update, we row affected, and uh, I think we can probably say row inserted. And that should be enough. And let's see, we got an error down here. Looks like we have an extra bracket. That's looking good. Got another issue, we need to do some error catching. Okay, so that has no errors. We have three parameters. Now to call this function we need to go back and create a, a beautiful thing and pass it to insert one. So let's go into our demo and create another object. So we might also do that right down here. Let's say uh, we have a uh, object called beautiful thing. Puppies and instead of, oh, let's use it here. So instead of creating this add function directly to the, uh, the list, let's go and say ds dot uh, add, do we have a, or is it insert? Insert one, that was the command. Yeah, insert one. And now we're going to send it a beautiful thing, a B object. Okay, I'm going to delete these other two lines. They don't seem to be doing much right now, so... We're going to try to insert a new guy. 
instead of puppies, I'm going to rename it so we can say something else. Kitties. And change it to cats. And if you might not be a cat lover, you get an 8. Okay, so it's a little different than we did before. Save that and run it. Okay, what happened here? One thing inserted. Let's go check to see if it actually inserted it. And we have kitties. Okay, so ID number 7. And there you have it. The database service seems to be working. I'm going to shrink this section and we're going to move on to read all. So once more, I'm going to give you the chance to finish it on your own. Otherwise, watch the next video and I'll implement read all.